talking to these boys, but any escape you do, normally if we're inside somebody like this, we, we feel more at risk and we want to get outside. But technically when somebody's grabbing me here, even though I'm outside his arm, if I go to move like this, it's all well and good and sort of very fluid, harmonious style work. But what's the easiest way for him to stop that? <laughs> his elbow is never going to let that happen. This whole notion of just fusing. All he has to boom, and if he pops that in my face, there's no way you're going to get his back. It's very hard to compress here. And if he's hitting you, pop, boom, just a little shot and coming back down, like a hockey fight with elbows, you're not getting in. So this notion of getting the back easily, that's why you see there's quite a big difference in going for the head versus going for the belt. Because when I go for the belt, I can hammock the elbow. When I go for the head, it's, it's harder. Look at his structure. I can hang on it. It's very strong. I go for his belt. Look, I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> right? That's what I'm looking for. So this is the joint we're trying to beat. Don't think of your end goal. My end goal is, you know, I go for the legs. I go for the belt. Because now I have control. Pop the elbow. Pop the elbow. That's what's more important. So for that reason, because we're still technically in a vulnerable position, that's why sometimes we consider changing our head, which looks like we're on the inside, but now all of our leverage is on the outside. The thing is, we need to think of doing it not in a frail, uncertain way, even though it feels kind of weird, but in a way that's dominant and aggressive. So I'm showing the boys, if I grab and I roll it whoosh, onto the front fist, it becomes quite easy here to make space for myself, right? Grip, I'm working with my wrist, and then I'm already there, right? Or any movement that I do, whether it's a hit or a lift, has the same intention to go under, but if my head doesn't want to go, my shoulder goes. And then it's all the same throws, right? Imagine, we have a very simple technique I was telling you about is, instead of just doing a throw, we hit the back of the neck. Bang, 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 a few times in the sweep. I'm gonna hit JJ pretty hard. The second I hit you, I'm gonna keep hitting you as fast as I can. The second I hit you, tuck your, your head and go. See what happens? But if I don't, if I try to do anything else, it give me a multiple. This is what happens. Because your circuit breaks, you just keep jumping. So as soon as you feel that pressure, you take the back right away. You gotta go with it, right? And if you don't think it's hard, try it a few times. Put your lenses in deep. Just give it a few shots. It's going right to the cerebellum. Cervical arch is getting affected. Fluids in the ears are going. Horizon lines loss is brutal. Bang! Hit him. And from there, you know, one, two, whack, cut, whack. You always have control. That's a real fact.